Then again, the Dojo season 15 episode 8. Yeah, this is 8. Episode 8. This is episode 8, man. Um Tabang is not around. Yeah. Yeah, had an adulting issue to handle. Um yeah, but otherwise Rico Fela besides him. Uh start off with the with the plugs, man. Mm. Um Final party, guys. We have a party on the 13th of April. Um, kind of king dojo slash day club robot party um, happening on the 13th. I think that's a Saturday. Um, At yeah. Maracana. Yeah, yeah, in Santin. Kind of what used to be the Sands. Yeah, man. Um, we got the tickets up at um, Uzuri Online on our vendor page on uzurionline.co.za. So please, and join us on the 13th, man. Um, it should be a good time. You know, Renali Thiminyana, go in there, you know. So if you want to participate, you can, you know, like a, like a dash of color, you know, with your outfit. Agere, ou apares ka robo ote, ou kenye one color fair like just dash you know dash a color nyana da it's an indicator whether you are single taken or or down, or, or down for vibes you know what i'm saying so kana tamo ba green nyana you know a little dash of green a little dash of red a little dash of yellow you know what i'm saying we cannot can say over gola ma panti this nigga is down down you know yeah so that's what we're doing on the 13th man uh, it should be good vibes it is sort of like a day event but yes. you know it looks like a renali sprit bai complimentary sprit bai that's going to be happening right there so you know you can come through and bring your appetite um and then yeah it will be mostly day vibes and then if we are having a good time we will like it's like extend, you know, depending on how good of a time we're having. But in order for us to do that, Tlamilo Zogalin, so that we can have a really good time. So please check out the tickets on um, on our vendor page on Uzuri. Um, and then... Uh, Speaking of the vendor. Y- yes. Yeah, Uzuri, Uzuri Online.co.za, right? Yes, yes, Uzuri yes, Online yes. Uzuri a multi-vendor platform. List your products, list your businesses, yeah, sell man. to a wider geographical reach. Also, as a consumer, can get there, get you a whole bunch of stuff, audio equipment, uh, cosmetics. We have, uh, they Alice. have, what, what do they have now? No, um, I saw kind of getting deco, deco items like De- mirrors, oh, uh, vases. That's uh, nice, that's nice, that's nice. What else? Yeah, that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to check it out. I think we still also, um, Running the promotion for our Patreon and YouTube memberships, um, you know, really, discount data so that you guys can jump on, on, on Uzuri Online, Uche Geta, and then anything you, 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 you finna buy from there, you know, Rugele, Rugele discounting Yanada, um, you know, for, for showing us love on the Patreon and the, and the YouTube memberships. And then Lona Ba by YouTube Buvela, if you guys want to utilize the, the, the code, just hit us up on the DMs either on Instagram or Twitter, and then we'll give you that discount as well because ish, Kasuga Lol send a lead message Lona by YouTube, and um, yeah, who've signed up for the men- membership on YouTube, man. But shout out to you guys who have. Um, signed up on Patreon and YouTube, man. We really appreciate the support. Um, and then what else? Um, shout outs to Waste 22. We, we back on Waste 22. It's really Waste 22. I'm sorry to be early yet, you know? <laughs> so, so, so far, so good. <laughs> so, shout outs to the homies at Waste 22, man. Um, all around Media House. I live at our Tori Corda. He live at the space in Uh, just come through bar. Okay, get sent in on Renberg this side. Randberg. Get Randberg, you know? Yes, this is Randberg. Yeah, yeah. So, bar Randberg, you know? So, just hit them, just hit them up. Um, Waste 22, man. Ah, it, I think we can really get into it in Bali. Hi. Dinsa. Sharp, go Sharp, a fan. Sharp. Um, how did you, how did you spend your, your week and your, Baby Zang, human rights. She's on that revolutionary too. She's on that revolutionary too. Yeah, how do you spend your human rights? I, I went to uh, a show. What's it called? Quasi Fest. Yeah, it's Okay. With friends. Where where is that venue? Uh, I get that. It's in Krugersdorp. Oh, Krugersdorp. Or, like close to the cradle of humankind. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, but when I went there, I didn't know it was a pro-Ukraine. Pro-Ukraine like, thing. thing. Situation. I found out when 
I, they just said it was for the kids. They didn't say it was for the kids of Ukraine. Aha. Uh-huh. So, so, so when we got there, then it was like it was a nice show throughout the day. Mm. And then they introduced the former president of Ukraine. Wow. Okay. Hey. I'll speech. Hey, I'll share a speech. As we are away, they're at war with Russia, but we mustn't worry. Uh, they're gonna win this, hey. <laughs> and I want to even repeat it as our no nigga, bro. Of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was just there for the music, I want, and then they made us like sing along and chant things as if they were going to show Putin that this is what you, okay, your so, South, South Africans are. South African is you know, backing, I, is backing I, I Russia. No <laughs> if you had known, would you have gone? No, I wouldn't have. Hey, so, Does that mean you support, you support Russia, yes. You know, Putin is our nigga. We backing, we backing Putin out yes. here, bro. It's part of breaks and that. So, but yeah, it was a, it was a nice show. Yeah, it was a uh, nice event. The music was good. Mm, mm. And then the rain spoiled. The, spoiled, the spoiled the act. fun. Spoiled the fun. Yeah. Um, who was headlining? Broke out the soil. The soil. So the whole group is back now, in, including. No, no, there's a new lineup. Lady in the soil. Yeah. The old one left. I can. Oh. Yes. I, 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 okay. Okay. Left. There's uh, a new one. My there's a new lady. Her. When did she start? I don't know. This was the first time I had seen. Mm-hmm. I, this is the first time I had seen, seen the, the soil lady. With, yeah. Or like. In, in, or the new lineup perform. Yes, the new mm. the soil uh, mm. perform, and they only performed three songs because in the uh. rain uh, deviated. Because the, the, the soil in the battery and like cherry, something. Guys. Yeah. Something so weird. No, that, Sam I, left the soil long ago. He didn't come back. I heard that he, he came back though. Who he didn't did come back. Where did you hear that from? Oh, I mean, there were like reports like on social media. Okay, homie's making a comeback to the soil. D- well, he wasn't in. He oh, wasn't there. okay. He, there was just a new lady. Maybe there were rumors. I forgot what her name is. Mm. Two um, new guys now. No, the same two guys. It's uh, the, the the brothers. Oh, the, oh, oh, okay. The same two guys and just a, a new lady. A, a new, a new, a new I just, lady. I, I wish I remembered her name because they did tell us what her name is. I just, I forgot. Mm. But so, yes. so the soul was actually a four man thing. Yes. It started out as a four man yes. thing. Okay. Shit. So now, I'll probably just quote it, quote it later. Yes. What, what, mm. what did Bushley leave? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I hadn't been following what had been happening with the Menini event. Mm. Like it was mm. just a. Mm. Nice. And I'm I'm wondering how the paperwork looks like. Okay, um, the songs belong to the group, the meaning the entity, the soil. They don't belong to the individual. The individual that wrote the song, mm-hmm. like publishing wise and and things of that nature. You know? Well, anything before would have to go to whoever was there at the time, and then anything going forward. But even forward, there were songs that they had so in with Sam yeah. that they continued to perform and were on the album even after Sam was no longer part of the band. Right. Yeah, mm. then, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, be just splits then. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I said the performance pina that I wrote. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. All right. And then they still want to learn to all that even. Because nigga wanted, he wanted to. So I'm just not sharp enough to face it. That was hilarious. <laughs> hey, girls, I was just drunk, man. They were just drunk, like. Just before the fight, mm. there were these ladies that just wouldn't sit down because it's like they was they they stood up when the soil came onto the stage, okay. right? Um, and people kept asking them to please to sit, sit down. down. And, and the soil it has no song that you have to stand up and dance to. And because of the way the the stage is at at Nairox, it's at the bottom. So when someone stands up, our sabo, our sabo, it's not mm. like if it was level and everyone can see, even if we all stand up. Mm. So literally, the people at the back can't see past you if you're standing. So people have been asking these people several times to sit down and they just refused. And why are you standing up for, bro? Well, <laughs> Jaiva and I'll perform at the way a bit. And then suddenly <laughs> this lady uh, who was involved in the fight, mm. her skirt is getting tagged at. It was literally so, getting tagged at by her friend who was okay, also asking her to, to sit down. Mm. But, but she wasn't part of the troublesome people that were also standing. There was another bunch of people that were standing another lady in a rust dress mm. um, but she was also standing and wouldn't sit down and then they were tagging at her to just fucking sit down mm. and then suddenly <laughs> one is diving onto the other and it's just 
أمس. But shout out to the soul for not stopping. You know, yeah. like they continue to sing throughout the, the, the whole the whole fight. Like mm. even when security got involved, they didn't stop singing. Even when because now Kisho is a little commotion. Hey, it's a commotion. It's a shabile. It's a shabile. This thing that's happening. So what lady paint it up? It's a mess. Hey, hey, hey! If I say, if I say you are so rich, hey, hey! Magalma ji, ta the wine. Yeah, I blame yeah. the wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we're not about to. Never say about to because we had been there since early, and by that time, say about five to six. Hey, pa. Since on another whole day, let's start seeing. Hey. There's no way you're making it out alive. <laughs> 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 because when there's certain events where the mixture of alcohol and the vibes that they, you yes. know, um, the sort of music that is being played, they it, it makes people sort of riled up. No, no. Ma, yeah, ma, that the soil event is not. have a single song that will rile you up. Exactly. I mean. And in the Babi Nasiri Laka. Y'all stand up in churches. Natin Tutan, Salo Natan. So just sit the fuck down. Bro, <laughs> when I was watching that video, that song was playing in the background. I'm like, what the <laughs> hell kind of background music is this Bro. to a fight? Bro, who bones are okay? There was nothing. It, it was such an unnecessary fight. Yeah, it there was, was nothing that... It could yeah. have been... It, it didn't Avoided. need to happen. It, it, yeah, didn't, it didn't need to happen. It didn't need she to happen. She just should have fucking sat down. Ish. Yeah, no, hey. Hey. Like, yeah, show champagne in the same matter, Marie. Yes, that's how I spent uh, your, your, my human rights. Yeah, human rights. Good time. Uh, now, nah, like, nah, deadline near the Friday because I didn't even take a day off. I know most people t- took day, the, days the, off the, the, the Friday. Off. Friday. Uh-huh. Yeah, actually, like, nah, something I needed to just finish up. Yes, but so I was working on the day. But taking leave on the day just seemed like a waste, though. Mm. If you have like, um, if you have uh, a work from home thing, limited leave policy at your work. Mm. Yeah, because then you're just depleting days for nothing. Like. Right. Yeah, hey, because I go spending sitting in the bar, but but cigar, cigar, I read. Let me get one girl's eyes. Yeah, you must take it there. Yeah, not there. I didn't take. It. Yeah, my own spot. Yeah, I went to work. Oh, you went to work. Oh, mm-hmm. uh-huh. went to the office. Right, right, right. right. And then when I no to now, I got human rights. I was studying. Oh, not to study. Can I walk on all the way? Mm, I was just studying. Can I walk on? And I'm so proud of myself. I'm ahead now. At some point, I was behind. Mm. Yeah, now I have jumped. Uh-huh. For what? Now I feel like the hot man in, in the class. Yeah, like, can't yeah. be <laughs> on the <laughs> same level as the kids. Yeah, our tests are like, give your assessment, double. Oh. So they will give you like uh, the multiple choice, multiple choice tests mm. that open for a certain period of time. Ah. So maybe they'll open them for a week. So assessment one becomes open and then it closes a week later. Oh, okay. And then they'll just have like this, um, they call it a Moodle Proctor app mm. that records a video while you're taking the test to see that you're not oh, how, how, how cool. yeah. Yeah. So I'm ahead because for, I think for the one subject that I was studying towards last week, mm. there were two assessments and both of them were open. Mm. Oh, I said, no, I the thing is, that was so messed up of them. That first test, scope, saw that first test was mm. the entire textbook. What? The whole thing? <laughs> the semester just opened, my nigga. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey. The semester just opened. So if you haven't gone through the whole book, you, you can't you, write it. You, you can't write it. And, uh, and uh, it, it closes when? On Tuesday. Jesus. On Tuesday, it closes. Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the entire textbook. So I managed to get through the entire thing. Yeah. And then I wrote that first one. And then the second one was also based on the entire textbook. I was like, ah, I might as well just write yeah, this one just, too. Yeah. Yo. So I, I, I wrote them both. I don't know and if I'm going to do like back to school. Yo. <laughs> and, uh, I, uh, I'm like, what the hell are y'all doing, bro? Yo, that, that, that's rough. The whole textbook, bro. Yeah. And yeah, there's another one too. Yeah, the whole textbook. Mm-hmm. And I just finished that textbook yesterday jesus okay. so when i so, yeah so when i all your free time value open like textbook i'll send a chance you know yeah but i'm mm. able to sort of like manage my time mm, i mm. just make sure that every day after work i spend two hours 
Ubar, on, ubar. on a subject. Yeah, ubar. Okay. Yeah. Ah, nee. That's good, man. And it's like a, so you have to do it yeah. every day. And then that way, next thing you know... It's it's second nature now. You, you're you done with the whole... Mm. Yeah. Ah, nee, no, no pushing, Jack. No, no pushing. Uh. All right, man. Let's get into some of these things, man. Let's get into some of these things. Maybe let's... You know, I'm by that's a work I got actually Ukraine. So, um, so Putin just won an election. <laughs> I don't even know that they had elections. So yeah, they had, they had elections. Um, kind of again, big year 13 mm. from the 13th to the 15th. Mm. Um, they had elections, so he's gotten a clear majority of 80, 87 percent. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> hey. you know. But the thing is, so the interesting thing about that is that he shouldn't have been eligible to stand for 2024. Why? Because Russia has a two-term policy. Putin has been in power... Exactly. ...for more than a decade. Exactly. So it's quite interesting how the homie <laughs> has navigated it. So, so I looked it up, man. So this, this, nigga, this nigga has been, well, at the top since 2000. Right. Mm -hmm. um, actually, since ninety nine, because ninety nine <coughs> he was he was he was elected prime minister. So they so Russia has Nixatsebi. They have prime a prime minister and a president. Uh -huh. Right. So so he came first came into into politics and power in ninety nine as a prime minister, mm -hmm. while the president was Boris Yeltsin, I think. Uh -huh. And then um, then Yeltsin ka ninety nine, but at the end of the year. Um, about well, uh, Canadian politics, and then he resigned. Um, Charts, mm. and then and then based based on the constitution, then the deputy becomes acting president. So he was then acting president. Um, yeah, for nine ninety nine until two thousand, and then two thousand Abayezawe who were nearly the election, and then and then he won those elections. So he stood, and then he won, and then that's when he became officially president. And at the time, Russia had a four-year terms between. So he served from 2000 to 2004, he was president. And then from 2004 to 2008, he was president. And then um, his term was supposed to... Be over. Yeah, to be over then. Hey, his deputy at the time, then again as acting president, and then Dimani Lena, I think, Achincha Constitution, to to allow to allow to allow Putin <laughs> to come and to be able to stand for for kind of king, um, prime minister yes. again uh, because after you've served as a prime minister you can't serve again so so then in twenty in twenty twelve then in, in in twenty twelve the homie comes back again to serve as prime minister because Bafana Baba Chinchile constitution and then he became prime minister prime minister um, for 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 two years, I believe, yeah. But no, in early kind of again, twenty twenty eight. No, no, two thousand and eight. He was prime minister until uh, twenty twelve, and then from twenty twelve, who both chunchua kind of again constitution in Hape that allows him for now to to run as president again, and then he be chinchali lead the terms at the Um So from four to six. So from twenty twelve to. 2018, he was president, and now 2018 to 2024, he was president. Mara, they also needed to adjust it again, again, okay, so that he can run mm. again. Did, did they? And he just to. <laughs> That's why he ran and he won. <laughs> That's why he ran and he won, man. What do you What do you think of the? Do you think the elections are legit? Ah no, I don't no, think man. those things are free and fair, but <laughs> and then. Uh, and apparently, um, uh, kind of king, the I, I, for 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 to to use just simple terms, I want to call him the official opposition or the motor that was really posing a threat. Mm -hmm. um, he had signed up with the electoral commission, and about to meet, and then jiggy jiggy before election, his 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 uh, application is a is a check what but check or ne on al criminal record. Um, but it was in college, or like, and I think during one of these um, wars that um, Russia was, was was part of, and then they were disqualified uh, just based on that. Or, How convenient! Uh, why what? Why what? So, so uh, then after that, uh, initially clear, just 
Landslide. Yeah, yeah, clear landslide for the home. And there have been protests, and apparently there have been protests as well. But they are always shut down quickly. Are the Russians tired of Putin? Mm. Shut down quickly, so no, protest, I opposition. No, I remember that boy that was crying about Putin. Allah di khab. I don't know what to say. Hey, Fred. He was, he was crying when I was... I don't know what to say. Oh, can I lie? In a bar, hey. in a bar, talking to some Locals. local guy, a young boy. We were we were we were comparing notes. Yeah. That was Umalu Putin at the time. Uh. I was lamenting, he was lamenting. <laughs> he cried. Jesus. He cried tears. Mm-hmm. 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 He cried tears. Ah, so you can just imagine, man, that nigga's been been literally in power since nineteen ninety nine. Dictator. Twenty 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 four. No. And he keeps shooting and and, and they it, it doesn't look like there's going to be an end to to his reign, and he's a, he's about like seventy something years old now. Yeah, so. he'll be in power until he does. I don't know, mm. and he's not married. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, no. he'll be in power until he does. But by the time he dies, he will have shaped Russia the way that he wanted it to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes that's what it takes. Mm. Mm. But you, when it was Idi Amin that was doing it, everyone was up in arms. Where well, what? You're not powerful enough to keep your to hold on to power. Mm. And 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 I sort of think yeah. uh, it's one thing being ube manganga. How got ube manga ube manganga without holding power? <laughs> you can't. So come on, even with this this Ibrahim Ibrahim mm. Tower. Yeah, 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 am yeah. I saying his name right? Yes. You're one tall. Yeah. 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 Mm. that are fighting him and that's why he needs to get Russia in as quickly as possible yeah. get a grip so he can get a grip mm. about her. but because as soon as the western powers mm. Mm. go in there and start pouring poison down the ears of his opposition yeah. next thing you know there'll be a coup or assassination yeah. happened there yeah. they, they've but been he even he got the position <laughs> through a coup through a coup mm. so mm. and they do it to everyone bro like bro like how they did who was that DRC guy it, was, it wasn't DRC then it was it Zaire? Mm. La Mumba. La Mumba. Just, Patrice. Yeah. How mm. they, like, it was dirty, bro. How yeah, they, they did, yeah. Chopped up his body yeah. and burnt yeah, it. And, like, and it was, acids and whatnot. Yeah, yeah man. How they fucking did uh, yeah, Sankara. They, yeah, Sankara Lien. Like anybody, bro. If you go against the grain, the West will find ways to take you down. And a, and a quick, Joe. Quick. They'll find ways. Bro. Yeah. If yeah. you're not powerful enough, Gaddafi tried. Hey. He mm. looked like he was doing it. Mm. He did it. But Leona in enlist sabotage from the West. Yeah. Right one. So they there needs to be a, a way because Obama, the West hasn't been able to infiltrate, you know, what, whatever is happening in Russia there, mm. you know, to try to destabilize it. You know what I'm saying? So, so, and what I found interesting while reading about this thing is that as soon as Obama, when he was prime when he got in as prime minister, he he came in as an independent. Right, so because Russia, you can either join a political party or run as an in- independent. So he came in as an independent. Mara, you know, Gare Onatsebana the president at the time. So I can see we were never Tsebana la Joa. So he came from KGB structures, I guess. Aha, aha. Mm. So maybe yeah, umo 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 boni Joa lo. So as soon as Mfanao resigned and Mfanao became acting president, the first day. Homie was signing decrees. So one of the first decrees that he signed was to, to um, kind of nebaybita. I will I wrote it down here. Um, presidential decree uh, for former president. Oh, ensuring that the former president and his um, family uh, are not charged for any corruption that happened yes. during that nigger's term. So he signed a decree. But whatever, then you know, clean slate. Clean slate. That's the first thing he did as soon as he got into power. So obviously that probably got him into favor with a lot of, of you know, the old brass that side. Mm. He's not going to shake the grain too much. And so, the two be oligarchs. He's making people rich. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the yeah, first day of it, I think, you know, made, made friends with the right people who mm. were able to protect him. And then it's been uphill from there, man. It's been uphill from there. So politics-wise... Putin is a very shrewd individual, so he, he, he knows what the hell he's doing. What's even twenty years under? So yeah, hey. Putin. What's this thing about him opening up some vaults that showed artifacts from uh, biblical times? 
<clears throat> and there's an image of a black Jesus. What? What? I haven't heard. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. How about it? I don't. <laughs> Now, where did you read that thing, bro? On Twitter, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But, but hey, these things are like um, presidential artifacts that he has. Yeah, but yeah. he has some, uh, like a vault of artifacts, mm. of religious artifacts. Is this a reliable source on Twitter that you read this thing from? When do we ever give a fuck? <laughs> Whether it's clever. So, when I'm at Bulang, there's this little box by Bulang that shows a picture. I think it's a picture of Jesus or whatever. Mm. Um depicted as, as having uh, been a black yeah, person. As, 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 How did it end up in Russia? You know? Well, I could see how it could end up in Russia mm. through the wars and the moving ups and downs of relics. But surely mm. they would have destroyed mm. it instead of having it land up in Russia. Russia if is was, if quite... It a, if it was a real thing. Yeah, because would... Russia is quite um, a religious-based ah. country. Yes. Because Buona, they've, I think... I'm not sure if they've actively outlawed... Uh, but then they were not... They were not affiliated with the Roman Catholic Church. Yes. Oh. Yes, Banali Panchabo. And the Roman... The project of whitewashing religion was a Catholic Com- project. Yeah, yeah. And a Buona, Haba... So you think they, think they would have accepted a black Jesus... I think so. Well, maybe there's a reason why this black Jesus is hidden in a vault. Maybe for that same reason, y'all yeah. be like, ah, no, you can't have a nigga. Exactly. <laughs> then why don't you destroy it? <laughs> then why don't you destroy it? Yeah, but he it? knows the truth, though. Hey. He know, he but I, I, I don't believe, I don't believe that Jesus was black in the true sense. I think he was black, bro. Nah. I think he was black. Or, Otologe, he was... Middle you know, Eastern. He, yeah, you know how they... Eat them, uh, hey, you get... Some of these niggas, black as me, bro. Black as me, that side. Yeah, and even you, I don't consider you black. What do you mean? Even a, even a person as black as you, you can go to India and find somebody darker than you. <laughs> For sure. I don't consider that person black. For sure. For, so, so if that nigga darker than me, he's mm. black, he's black, black. Bro. For me, a black, a black person is a pure African. Mm. Yeah. I wanted to take back the pure word, but no, I'll keep it. I mean, I'm not pure in what sense? If you, if you wouldn't even call me black. When you're African by descent. Yeah, we Africans and, by descent. And, and maybe descent is not the right one because you, you can get someone like, a, you know, the light-skinned motherfuckers in America. They're also of African descent. Yes. Mm. In the American context, they'd be considered black, but... Mm. But in our context, I go because in our we, context they'd be considered colored. Yeah, because we when we understand okay, in Africa there's Arabs, mm-hmm. Muslim, uh. you know, and then we understand okay, then there's then there's black Africans. I okay. guess for me it would be easier for me to accept that those people are black if they acknowledge it too. Which people? The, the Arabs. Arabs, non-African people with dark skin. But they don't want to be associated with exactly. Being black. So why should I give you the title of being black? But they don't want it. Why are exactly. you giving me something yeah, I don't so, want? But yeah, but yeah, I don't so want to. So I don't it. want to give it to you anyways. Yeah, I don't because like, to me, it's, mm, not, it's a privilege. Mm, mm, so mm. why should I consider you black? You're not because you're only going to be black when it suits you. And then we're going to claim your blackness to hold on to some historical ideal that black people yeah, have always yeah, been yeah. on the top of the earth when you don't even consider yourself or never have considered yourself one of us. Yeah, yeah. Especially especially those Gaudi, Mura, Morocco. Yeah. Egypt, Egypt. Egypt. So now we yeah. we brandishing, yeah, no, black, black people, black, black, black people, yeah, black yeah, people, yeah, but, yeah. but was it Morocco that even said they don't want to be considered as part of Africa? It, it was Morocco. We live on about it, they don't want to even be considered that. and it's in Africa. And then someone Moroccan mm. someone Moroccan is gonna go win some prestigious accolade mm. and then we all gonna gun up and say, Hey Africa. Africa. Okay, nah, nah, nah. And they don't want even want to be associated and we with won't Africa. Do that. Yeah, we, we, and we will shouldn't, do that. And we shouldn't. It's and that's what we do. That And like, even like how we claim, you know, um, uh, uh, civiliza- technological or, or, or civilization advances, advances in civilization. Ka mm. Egypt. Ka Egypt. And we shouldn't. And like, like, I, like, we should be fucking with who? Sudan. Yeah, like you sub-Saharan, my nigga. Yeah. What were your, what were your people doing in the sub-Saharan? Exactly. Don't tell me about Egyptians mm. who are trading with Mediterraneans up there. You don't even know what the genetic mm. makeup of those people yeah. are or is. Or but Su- Sudan had pyramids, bro. And them niggas were black. 
Them niggas were black. Yeah, but who built the pyramids? Which ones? <laughs> the black people before they were conquered by the Arabs? Hey, man, I'm not sure. Or the black people or the Arabs off the backs of the conquered black people. Yeah. Sudan, Sudan is it mostly Muslim or Christian? Like in terms of religious? I think it's more Muslim. It's more Muslim. I no? could be wrong, though. But them niggas are black, black, though. Yeah. Them niggas well, are black, the black. southern region of Sudan. Yeah, southern of Sudan. And then you get your Gaddafis. Yes. You mm. see, then mm. you get your Libyan Gaddafi, your Gaddafi Libyans, yeah. like, uh, you know the rapper Odyssey? Odyssey, yes. Yeah, yes, he's, yeah. I think he's, he's, he's Libyan. He, yeah, he's Libyan. Yeah, yeah. You, you get those. You see, the light-skinned Libyans mm. and then the black Libyans. Mm. The black Libyans that they were doing, they were discriminating against, I, I think, yeah, at yeah, some they point. Yeah, they were. Who was discriminating against them? Um, the, <laughs> the, yeah, but wasn't there some ethnic cleansing that was... Well, not the... No, no, no. I can not say, in Libya. No, no, not in Libya. I can show. I can show. Yeah, I, I just don't, know that there I don't was, want to speak in... There's, there's a divide between the north and south. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but you're talking about Sudan, not yeah, Libya. Yeah, Libya. Okay, Sudan. Okay, so they have... Yeah, Libya. north and south, thank you. Yeah, yeah. They're always clashing. Yes, yes. Them niggas. But when I'm talking about Sudan... But I think it's along color lines. Yeah, Baba, it's so blind. Uh. Yeah. And then when I'm talking about light skin, I'm talking about Sudan. No, man, to me, you're either black or you ain't, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna take a Middle East Easterner just because he's brown skin and claim him as yeah, one of yeah. me. So that means then Jesus wasn't black even in Putin's vault. We just know that Jesus was not white. Mm. That's what we know. Yeah, that's what we know. Or we what that that we know for a fact mm. that Jesus could not have been white. So he's mm. just light skinned. He was not even light skinned. No, he was probably dark as hell. Well, I wouldn't say dark I as hell. I don't. Think I, he I would say dark. he's. Because if you look at the region that they came from, mm. they, they would have looked like Middle Easterners, like how Middle Easterners look, mm. like you know Arab, Arabic type, you mm. know bronze skin. So, so he would have had, he wouldn't have had type baby son type. Type hair. Yeah, type C. No, nah, I don't think so. No, I also don't. Think yeah, that. so he would have had the yes. typical Arab hair. Arab hair. Yeah, <laughs> yes. you know, a little smooth. Yes. You know what I'm maybe saying? Maybe on maybe a bit on the coarse side like because Gaddafi's hair, because yeah. he was yeah. uh, Gaddafi's hair. Maybe a bit on the on the on the coarse side could, because it was a, he was a pop like it. Hey, okay, yeah. okay. He was poor shit. Yeah. That name. So that yeah. name might not yeah. have been a slick, but but it wasn't type. It wasn't nappy, bro. Nah, it wasn't. Nappy. Yeah, it wasn't nappy like us. Because we got because it wasn't going to fall on off his mm. show, over his shoulders, most mm. even on the cross if it yeah. was nappy like ours. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe maybe we should judge the African kabaka how nappy your hair is. Like the black in for now. That's not fair. Go over the line of black. Your hair, when a personal, your hair is not like our hair. What do you mean? Mm. Jesus' quills are not that of a. He looks like he could have been a mixed breed himself. Yeah, it's not. It wasn't nappy, nappy the way. Yeah, but his hair is nappy though. <laughs> not nappy but, enough. But not. <laughs> not nappy enough to be a pure African. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> I feel. I don't know. You are, yeah. Now you are, you are dividing us. Why, come on, you know. These are the people we don't need. <laughs> not hey, nappy. Hey, like hey, we would have suspected that. There's some tuck shop. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> we would have suspected hey. that they might have put a tuck shop close to his house. <laughs> nah, I got you, man. I got you. I got you. I, um, kind of how did we get into speaking about... But We're Africa. talking about... Mujisa says there's a, uh, an artifact. In oh, in Russia. Russia yeah, kind of, oh, in, in Putin's closet. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, yeah, no, no, no. I think we can move a, we can move away from from Russia. Mara, listen, I'll say maybe just to wrap it up. I don't think Kore, the Russian stuff was free and fair, and um, obviously. But you no know. one thinks it was free and fair. Mm -hmm. Mara, what I wanna tweet now is that, um, especially in the in the media, you don't you don't hear when people refer to Putin, it allow a dictator Putin. You know what I'm saying? And and if if, if if what he was doing was, was being done by any Af African leader, all the headlines need to look like a dictator, what, what, in, in. you know, they'll allude to dictatorship. Kore, there's a, we, and we already know, Mara, there's a bias in the reporting of, of yes. when they, yeah. But I don't think the Americans are any kind when it comes to the reporting of Putin. But they don't call him, they, they still they fall short from calling him a dictator, though. They don't call him a dictator. They serve, they 
save that for yeah. African. Yeah, they save that for Africans. Yeah. <laughs> they 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 still save that for Africans. Yeah, because you know, a home is still white. You know what I'm saying? Maga maga gaibon and twai yeta anda. Gaibon and twai yeta anda. Aye, man. Um, maybe just to move on. Um, another thing that happened. Two, two very prominent things happened. Number one, the National um, Assembly Speaker. Yeah, yeah, I say the that lady. Um. Yeah, so yeah, a special leave to attend to this imminent arrest that's going to happen. Um, is it imminent? It seems like it is. Seems like it is. Uh, she was trying to interdict it over the weekend, mm-hmm. um, but Ngara had no pass it away that day. So Mara Unkile special leave. Gara, there was pressure from the president's office for her to. Just, yeah, just to excuse herself from official business, government business, because, you know, so this week they they did a raid at her house mm. um and then there was news or reports saying that she was to report herself in ka friday but she never did i think her lawyers ba ba la file like an interdict on 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 friday so so the, her, her her issue stems from an alleged um bribing thing situation yeah when she was still minister of defense so Barry, she she received bribes up to uh, a total of 2.3 million rand that she for yeah 2.3 mm-hmm. but but it could be between the range mm-hmm. and then um that she used mainly to um renovate her house okay yeah that she because apparently the raid was in connection to to see the work she, that she did into the uh, into the house maybe they were still trying to gather proof for 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 that um so so yeah so we're not talking uh, we're not talking what were the bribes for um for for um uh defense contracts so normally the okay. contract in it i mean it's a department of defense uh-huh. and she was she was minister at at the department of um defense mm-hmm. and then same week um with regards to st- her husband was also once the minister of defense ne? i'm not sure about her husband which has not cool i remember man there was a time when she not cool. her husband she wasn't cool hey. one yeah. two man special special services but google her husband and you see google her husband and then same week um yeah, no, Minister of Defense. And she also became Minister of Defense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, so they they they're getting her for for the for the for the contracts. And I and I apparently this stems from uh kind of again testimony of yeah, Namutuana we net tender you know, through the state capture commission thing that was happening. Mm. So it's a it's a lead from from that, you know, so we push out. So same week, Hape, Steinhoff, uh, former CFO, committed suicide, and them niggas, on like that total fine, yeah, close to half a billy. You know what I'm saying? Half a billy, and you compare and you, you know, compare that to about four, four Emmy, Emmy Zwengiling, who looks and low. My nigga, so I'm like, you know, I'm comparing the two, and I'm looking at, and I'm looking at the reporting of it in the news, and it seems like they're dragging this lady through the mud more than they dragged this nigga who allegedly killed himself. It makes me wonder who you're actually getting distracted from. Exactly. You know? What's actually happening, and now they're distracting us with this little thing. Where one? Where one? Any, any thoughts on, on, on both um, issues? Steinhoff? Uh, corruption in government? What was happening with... Uh, with, with, it's Marcus Houston, eh? Yeah. Mm. What 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 was the latest with him? So so the latest with him is that um, he had just received a fine by the maybe some physical commission authority, yeah, yeah, Yamzans, mm-hmm. for 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 the shit that they did, Kostein Hall for that, mm-hmm. uh, maybe some improper kind of thing, accounting yeah. and all of that. So so Barry, he's fine, you know? So his fine was close to half a billion, mm. and it was based on the on on the fact that during his tenure there he earned over half a billion mm. in earnings. So about six hundred and fifty that he earned. 
during that time versus now the fine in Ebamu yeah, 475 million, I believe. You know, so that was the latest. And he was supposed to hand himself for criminal charge because I am to who uh, criminal criminal charges were going to be filed now the Friday, and Germany was also waiting for him. Yes. Everyone. So you 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 said that this lady is being treated unfairly in comparison. Yeah. Well, just just well, maybe not not the treatment, but just in in in, you know, maybe in the reporting as well. I feel I feel like. But Nidhi Muela, that guy. Like proper. Ma. Marcus. Marcus. Like shit was hitting the fan proper with him. Was he not in like... Yeah, no, he, yeah, he was feeling it. He <laughs> didn't well a blend, did I, man? I don't think there's a... <laughs> there was a disproportionate way. No. I don't think so. How do you feel, bud? You well, feel I like me? I understand because he was still in the comfort of his home when... You, you like, know? And no. where's this lady? Hey? Where's this lady? Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah. Mariana, like... It's different, no? How? It's D, my man. When men sing out like, Lisa, la la way. And every time they men sing to a whole lot of four minutes. Yeah, I can't do a whole lot of four minutes. And as a minister, as a minister, as a public official. Come on. 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 I kind of feel like. Come on. Come on. There's a disproportion, hey. you know. Though I do understand that when these things happen, it's politically motivated. Mm. It's because bauna, you know. Hey. Yeah. But that that that's not speaking to the law anymore. It's speaking to the structures within or the environment within the structures that you operate. Mm. <laughs> So yes. we can't even say it's unfair just because <laughs> their money, his people chose to deal with him in a more dignified manner than what your people. So if anything, it's, it's still an indictment on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah because I feel like for her, they, there could have been some decorum, you know you what know, I'm saying? It's still an indictment on you yeah. because unlike your own people. <laughs> because if a politician is going down, the hounds are black. Yeah, definitely. Because for me, I'm fun. The hounds How? are black. For me, I'm How? Ah, come on, man. I it's not too cold. I will get out. And let us have one Louis Bonner shirt that thing. Because listen to a cold. I will not say it's not too cold. You know? You know? And this nigga, yeah, now he stole like what? Like, yo. He stole and all of the money. Because then he's staying off in a deal. He's got a It's about. I mean, the, I mean, the billions. Ah, come on, bro. Come on, man. I think, I think worse for him. That nigga should have been in court naked if I could have it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even afford us the chance. You know? And they keep dying under these mysterious, mysterious circumstances. Mysterious circumstances. We don't even know if that nigga is really, really dead. How, conven- <laughs> how convenient for him. <laughs> Where's the body? Um, That's the thing. Because when you read the reporting on it, it's always like the alleged suicide. The alleged. So I, I don't know if... The cops have really seen the body. I don't know if the cops but have really surely, seen the body. Surely his estate would still be liable for the fine. I hope so. I hope so. Because then it makes no money. It uh, it makes no sense to kill yourself if you still, mm. if if you if you're faking a death but you can't take the money with you, because now your estate still needs to pay that mm. that fine. Then you might as well have stayed where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there even still any money? And look, they'll take what you have. They'll take your possessions if they can't take... Lift yeah, but, yeah, no, but I'm saying even now as and when this fine arrived, mm. was there still any significant... Would, you, would there still be any significant... Because they seized. Mm. Did they not seize his assets look, in the they early days? Gonna, yeah, maybe they're going to yeah. what they would, they're deducting from the already So they'll seized. take from... Because I don't mm. think he had... Well, but I don't know. Mm. Hey, white people... Offshore. Mm. Yeah, and friends. Mm. And friends. I mean, if you're a billionaire or millionaire, whatever. No, no, no. He was a fucking billionaire. He was, he was getting, he was there. You have people in your corner. Catch the rest of this episode on Patreon. The Dojo.